that sometimes or they are toxic material. So you have to handle very carefully these type of material. The stability is there. And uh, for the preparation and all those things, I have shown the mathematical modeling that you can control the parameters. If controlling the parameters, you can avoid this aging. You can have a long age or that. You can avoid the aging effect. Yes. So you talked about this gas sensing property for ammonia. Yeah. Right? So here, carbon nanotube by itself is uh, highly selective for ammonia, or uh, you need to do some function. What do you mean? If they are highly selective, then why? That why we are using for sensor purposes. Right, so it is very highly selective for ammonia, maybe for a different gas like hydrogen peroxide or as I said, methane, it will have a different uh, or maybe no response. No, actually what our aim or the people's aim that you have a very good sensors. If it can test uh, in a very, very small amount of the particles. So every gas may have different sensors no it is not necessary that a single material will sense every, every material where you use where you get the better result you use that material for that type of sensors no, so my question was like in order to make it selective for ammonia is it something special which has been done to no, cnt no, or they are no no we that have, has not been tested no no actually we have taken the ammonia we have taken the nit nitrogen oxide we have taken some other gases also but for ammonia, it is highly selective. Yes. So, what should be the property of the material that should be sensed by carbon nanotube? Yes. What should be the property of the gas that must be detected by It depends by upon how you are using the sensor. It is all resistance based sensors, conductivity based sensors. So, it depends upon the conductivity of the material. Means carbon nanotube is highly conductive. Right? And you have a sensor for the resistivity base, so you can use this type. What is the property of the gas? Gas property, that is not in your hand, no? Eh? If the property is that property. What property of the gas? What are the gases detected? No, no, no. See, the, the property of the gas is the property of the gas. You cannot change the property. It is a natural process. The gas is available and then you are developing the sensor. You are not developing the gas, you are developing the sensor. Okay. So, here is the requirements for being selective. Yes? What are the requirements for being selective to the ammonia? Requirement? Yes. See, this sensor is based on resistance basis, conductivity basis. So, the material which you are using is must be sensitive to the conductivity. Means conductivity means very uh, means not slowly, very rapidly. Then you can use that. Have you tried the mixture of the ammonia with other gases? You can try. There is a problem. There is not a problem. Anything about that? See, see, the what's the what? See, don't ask this type of questions because it is a it is a means so dry or this so you mix this. Definitely, certain result will come. No, I think I think this uh, you know the, the, the this questions can be taken out. You know, okay. later on. So if there are one or two questions, uh, you know, clear questions you want to ask, sure. Yes, sir. I have basic questions. For yes, you, sir. Yes. So these materials can be used in all the device, display devices, like. So my question is, uh, on Sony television, I mean the magnification of the display is much better than the Samsung Count TV. So what are the uh, the minimum and maximum particle sizes used in all these TVs? Is and there the, any relationship yes, between this tell, display? I, device? I tell you. <coughs> Don't compare the Samsung and Sony. Still, these devices, these processes are on the way. That uh, the Samsung company has uh, uh, prepared a prototype of field emission uh, this field emission screen. But it, they have not commercialized it yet. It is not marketed yet because I tell you, in this type of arrangement, there is a possibility of stability. There is a problem of the stability. How stable these screen? So they have prepared prototype, but they have not commercialized yet. Still, we are having the plasma TV and all those things. We are not having the carbon nanotube. 
the display devices, right? And see, there are certain other applications of the carbon nanotubes. Maybe if they are very good for the MRI pictures, there they use MRI pictures. When you encapsulate the gelatin wine in carbon nanotubes, your MRI pictures will be more bright, more contrast. They will be used to carbon nanotubes will be used for genes. They will be used for bone treatments. There are a lot of applications of this uh, part. And the beautiful is the thing is that the carbon nanotubes is, may be used for nanoelectronics, may be used for medical science. 